What's going on guys? Mark Sanchez here bringing you guys a review on the Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves and the Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves. So, these are the Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves. They've been on the market for quite some time now. And a lot of athletes have gotten opportunities to squat in them, put them on, etc. Um, from what I've heard before purchasing these, I specifically bought these actually for this video just because I wanted to give a review on what I thought about these knee sleeves, what I thought about them in comparison to the Iron Rebel knee sleeves, and what my thoughts are as a squatter myself. Um, so I did not have lead times, like most people were saying, of like five to six weeks. I had about two and a half weeks um, from the date of purchase. About two or three days afterwards, I received a email saying that they shipped. And then from there, I did not receive a tracking number. Um, Matter of fact, after two weeks, I had had no progress and I actually was just interested in just canceling the order. Um, but they finally sent me a sh tracking number. Um, so that is what that is. Uh, directly from Einzer's where I purchased them, they were 155. Um, I could have got them on Amazon, I'm assuming even faster for about $180. Next up, we have the Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves. I bought these the day they hit the market, which was like Thursday the 9th, I believe. And I actually got them yesterday, um, October 11th. So not a long wait at all for these Iron Rebel knee sleeves. Um, however, they did sell out immediately. And I believe as I'm filming this video, they just released that they're doing a pre-sale on the next batch. Um, and for some reason, the website had them listed at, I believe, 125. There is a hiccup there. I didn't have to pay extra, and I also used a coupon code from one of the Iron Rebel athletes, which actually brought the price down to 112. So first on the list, we're gonna go ahead and start with my out of the box impressions of the Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves. Um, from right out of the actual packaging of the box, um, it really puts into perspective why these knee sleeves were in consideration of being illegal um, in, I believe, the USPA. And I don't know about other feds, but I know it was in talks of this being potentially illegal. Um, but when you first pull these out of the bag, uh, my initial thoughts are the neoprene is extremely more dense and a lot more rigid um, than any other pair of knee sleeves that I've personally worn before. Um, the things that I like most about it are one, the single stitching along the back as well as the natural curvature of your leg um, in its design. The actual thickness of this neoprene, still being a seven millimeter knee sleeve, um, is quite impressive, honestly. Um, comparing it against the SBDs, the Iron Rebel performance knee sleeves that I also have, um, nothing that I've at least owned or seen on the market is even close to the thickness and the rigidity. Um, one of the big flaws that I am seeing a little bit, at least from a quality perspective, is I've only worn these twice, and one of those two times wearing them um, was an actual squat session, the other time was just trying them on. Um, and as you see here a little bit closer, um, there is some fraying already in the stitches. Um, personally, it might be from me bending and folding the actual knee sleeves itself, as well as me putting them on um, my larger size legs. I'll go ahead and measure in inches the largest portion of my calf here, which I'm sitting at about 20 to 20 and a half inches. My knee, it's sitting at about 17 inches and my lower portion of my quad sitting at about 20 24 inches so next i'm going to go ahead and talk about the iron rebel pr knee sleeves um initial impressions out of the bag um the einzers came in a box these actually came in the iron rebel plastic packaging bag which was a little bit concerning to me at first because i was thinking there's no way that they are going to be able to compete with it being folded up into a bag with that. However, pulling them out of the bag, my impressions were immediately changed. 
pull out one. So from that, the initial impressions from obviously having the Einzers first to receiving the Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves. Um, initial thoughts, the neoprene feels pretty much exactly the same. Um, the big thing about it that I'm noticing is in comparison to the Iron Rebels or the Einzers is you have your single stitching on the back. You have your typical knee sleeve shape um, as its body of the knee sleeve. And then you have your single logo here. It all seems like one very solid construction unit or constructed unit. Um, and with that being said, my little wiggle test, it, the neoprene as dense and as rigid as this feels, it's, it still feels very comparable. Um, I have almost an assumption that they were made in the same factory, however manufacturing works. Um, but I would assume that they probably are using the same exact neoprene. The only major difference that I'm noticing between the two knee sleeves is the actual shape of the knee sleeve. Let's start with this. The Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves, from what I've seen, I'm gonna fold them into a little donut thing. I'll go ahead and place those there. Bend these down. And then I'll suck them in as tight as I can. And from there, that's where I have the biggest issue with these knee sleeves is getting them over my uh, calves. So what I've done is kind of start from the back, suck them up a little bit, then the front, and the back, and then the front, back, front, and then get it high up on the knee. Um, if you're an athlete who's larger like I am, I am currently 200 and like 90 something pounds. What a lot of people don't do with these knee uh, sleeves is they get um, lazy with them and they'll wear them super low. And you're not getting enough lower quad coverage in my opinion. So I'll make sure that I can get as much as the actual midsection to the top and covering most of my knee that I can. I will go ahead and straighten out my leg and flick that over, giving me a lot of coverage here between my knee and my upper quad or my lower quad. And then I will roll them down that way and then suck them up a little bit. So my impressions of actually having both of the knee sleeves on direct to skin contact real quick. My thoughts with wearing them with compression pants or like something like leggings or anything like that is they don't stick to your actual leg as much as I'd like. I constantly found myself actually pulling them up quite a numerous amount of times, but however, it was very easy to get them on and very easy to get them off. So for the Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves to direct skin contact, a lot of people have noticed, or you'll notice a lot of people with these knee sleeves have a gap at the back of their quad and at the front of their shin or have a space at the back of their quad. Now, I've yet to really see any space at the front of the quad. However, everybody's bodies are different. Everybody's legs are different. The Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves stick to my leg incredibly well. And I mean incredibly well in the sense that I don't feel rubbing in the back of my uh, knee pit here. I don't feel any cutting or scraping when I hit the hole. Um, I feel like hitting depth, it is kind of like a wrapped fight. Um, I have done a wrapped meet before in my past. I would compare these to a wrapped. I know a lot of people who've done reviews on these squats or on these knee sleeves have mentioned that they do feel like a light wrap. I could actually agree with that. And just walking around with that, they are so stiff and rigid that you do have to kind of wrap waddle around in them a little bit. So with that being said, I do like the feeling of them on. They do feel pretty comfortable on. Um, putting them on, I would say, was maybe a six to seven out of 10, as far as 10 being the most difficult. And having them on with my, while I was sitting, if I had sat with my knee bent for quite a few minutes or uh, a specific amount of time, um, I did feel that my feet and legs were going a bit numb. Um, or at least losing blood to them. Um, so standing up, however, 
I don't really feel that concern. I don't really feel that issue. I feel very rooted to the floor. I feel very in connect with my actual squat from a front perspective, hitting depth and coming in. Um, I do feel like these are a very solid option as far as knee sleeves go in comparison to some of the knee sleeves I've worn in the past. These are definitely way more stiff. I have the knee sleeves on uh, because I'm actually in prep right now for the Ghost Clash in February. I didn't put any significant amount of weight on the bar. Matter of fact, I haven't even warmed up for this. So I have 325 on the bar. This is a 55 pound squat bar. My current max is 815. But I did want to just give you guys a little bit of a demonstration on how I felt hitting the hole in the knee sleeves as well as walking out the squat and just performing the squat in general. This section will basically be me showing you guys post squat, removing the knee sleeves. So at least for one portion of the film, I will roll these guys up, roll this guy down, and basically work them back down my quad. Now I've had some issues and success doing this, but I'm getting a little bit down, slide them all the way, and then use my thumbs to slide down the actual knee sleeve itself. So I took a quick break um, after filming and I tried to go ahead and just get right into it and put these on. And here's what that looks like. We are going to go ahead and try that again. And And try this again. Bless the Lord, that was way easier than my first attempt earlier. Um, it's the same thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and get them as high as I can on the knee, and then straighten out. Bring it all the way up, and then bring these guys all the way down. Whew. Now having both on, this is the very first time I've had both on, um, it's extremely uncomfortable. Um, on both of my legs, I feel an extreme tightness right here in the quads. Um, that's, in my opinion, a good thing. Just talking about stiffness, rigidity, as well as being tight and tense when you're hitting that hole. Um, I like them. They're uncomfortable, yes. They are extremely hard to put on, yes. However, they are way tighter than the Einzers, in my opinion. Yes, obviously size matters. And with that also being said, from a side view, I'll do an air body squat. That's almost cheating. That's not fair. Um, <laughs> and then I'll do it from a front perspective. That feels cool. Getting them on, way harder than the Einzers. The top hole is a lot bigger, which means that if you can ride that fold up a little bit higher, you have a bigger opening to actually get the knee sleeves on. This is almost a cylinder shape, which means that it, it only opens up just a little bit halfway through the fold of the knee sleeve when you kind of wiggle them on. Um, wearing them, I could probably wear the Einzers for an entire workout session. I could even consider them more of like a lighter pair of knee sleeves if I was doing um, other blocks. Now, I'm only making that comment in comparison to the Iron Rebels. I won't even consider wearing them for work capacity accessories and stuff like that on a regular training day. I would only wear both pairs for probably like a top single or a top double. Um, depending on where I'm at in my training. 
Now, with that being said, it's not really painful anywhere. I do get a little bit of numbness. It's almost like too tight at this point, in my opinion. Um, but I don't really get a tear or a cutting sensation in the back of my uh, knee, like some people have reported with the Einzers, where it bites up at the back of their knee. Um, the only real issue that I could see myself having is that it's just so tight in the quad that I almost wanna give it some air. <laughs> Whew, that feels a lot better. Give it some air um, if I'm not actually doing or performing the squat. Um, is that a, another task? Yes. Is it the most tedious or annoying thing? No, I usually also do that with my other pair of Iron Rebel knee sleeves. Um, when I'm not actively performing a set, I'll go ahead and just kind of roll them down a little bit, give my legs some breathing room. So with that being said, we still have 325 on the squat bar. I am going to go ahead and roll this back up and I'll show you guys a double with 325 on the Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves. Just saw my squat double with the Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves at 325 pounds. Um, and then you just saw a double of the 325 as well with the Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves. Now, um, post squat, the things that I'm feeling were one, um, walking in these Iron Rebel knee sleeves are extremely difficult. Um, <laughs> I'm actually still wearing them. I haven't gone through the process of taking them off yet. I'll also film that for you guys as well, but I literally, it, it, it hurts to walk. Um, I would definitely compare these to a similar wrap type feel. Um, now, as far as the actual squat itself, I did notice a lot of tension and buildup coming into the hole. The walkout wasn't too bad. Um, I know I spoke earlier about me not really being super tight on the walkout with the Einzers. I was more conscious of that this time. Um, but the actual step out from the rack was not as bad um, in general. And then on top of that too, before hitting the hole, hitting the hole and the actual ascent of the squat, I did actually notice a sort of pop feel. Um, a little bit more noticeable than the Einzer knee sleeves. Um, with that being said, it might have to do with something with the actual construction of the sleeve. Like I said, hitting the hole in the Einzers, the Einzers are very stiff, they're very rigid, but that cone shape at the top that molds to your natural quad, I think one is a lot easier for me to put on as a knee sleeve. However, I did feel more resistance entering the hole. I did feel more pop coming out of the hole. And I did feel a little bit of assistance coming out of the actual squat. Uh, with that being said, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working towards removing the knee sleeves because I can no longer feel my toes. Um, so that is my initial thought. That is how I squat in the Einzer uh, ergo pro knee sleeves that's how I squat in the iron rebel knee sleeves once I get these off I'll go ahead and kind of talk to you guys about what I think about the two um, is it worth buying either or a pair and maybe what I think um, as an 800 pound squatter what I would use and what I would recommend to other athletes and now I have the knee sleeve fully on what I'm basically gonna do is try and get this up get that over there Roll this back on top of that, and then just like the Einzers, work on wiggling them down.
try and get this portion past my calf and then roll that guy down. So, so I just got done showing you guys my thoughts out of the bag on the Iron Rebel and the Iron Zero knee sleeves. Also putting them on as well as performing a squat with them as well as taking them off. Now, to talk about my thoughts for that, I'll go ahead and go back to starting with the Einzer Pro, uh, Ergo Pro knee sleeves. Do I think as an 800 pound squatter that these will magically increase your squat? If, unless you're going for an absolute grinder RPE 9 plus, one rep max, PR, single, um, whatever, um, do I think that they can add a bunch of weight to your total or squat? No, not necessarily. Um, with that being said, at RPE 9 plus, I could say that they would definitely help and assist that way. However, are they going to be the end all be all for you hitting a massive PR on your squat? No, I really don't think so. Um, as far as the Iron Rebels, um, coming into this video, I kind of had these, this already this already developed idea of both of these knee sleeves not really being um, the most necessary thing to hit massive numbers on your squat. However, now that I've actually felt the Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves, tried them on, squatted in them, walked around in them, and took, take, took them off, do I think that these Iron Rebel PR knee sleeves are going to add massive numbers to your squat? The answer is still no, in my honest opinion. I do think that, again, just like the Einzers, they're very similar. If you are going for an RPE 9 plus and you're doing singles or doubles, I do think that you'll get a lot of assistance out of them, but I don't think that they're going to be the catch-all or end-all be-all for you putting on 30 plus pounds on your squat. Now, with that said though, what are my actual thoughts on the knee sleeves? I personally, for me having a larger quad and being very leg dominant, I do like wearing the Einzer Ergo Pro knee sleeves a little bit more. So if you're a guy like me who has large quads and large calves, um, I think the Einzer Pros will, uh, the Einzer Ergo Pros will fit you better. I think they'll be easier to put on and I think they'll be more comfortable if you, these are going to be your only pair of knee sleeves then you're going to be doing repetition work with it. So a lot of repetitions with that. If you're going to be doing heavy singles, heavy doubles, maybe even light medium triples. Um, I would say if you're a large quad, large calf person, yes. I would definitely prefer the Einzer Ergo Pros over the Iron Rebels, just because they fit better. They're not as constricted in the quad, in my opinion. And for me, I'm very muscle-minded on when I how tight, how tense my quads and my hamstrings and glutes are. And for having not too much of a distraction of that pressure going into repetition work, um, I think that the Einzer Ergo Pro would make a very good prep knee sleeve um, specifically within hypotrophy as well as peak. Um, and I think that these are a good option for guys who have large quads and large calves. Moving over to the Iron Rebel PR um, knee sleeves. I do like the way that these fit. However, I don't necessarily see myself wearing these in any other situation besides peak, a peak block for a meat prep. Um, they're extremely tight, they're extremely stiff, they're extremely difficult to get on, and I really don't have that mindset or desire to sit there and fumble with my knee sleeves and waddle around the gym while I'm trying to get a workout in. Um, now, do I think that these are ideal knee sleeves for PRing in, and do I think that they can give you an upper hand advantage? I absolutely would say both, honestly, can give you an upper hand advantage. I do think there's more pop out of the hole on the Iron Rebel knee sleeves, only because of the actual um, shape of the knee sleeve. It's not something that naturally bends with your knee. It's something that kind of is counteracting the actual movement, which is why I think you would get more pop out of the hole in these Iron Rebel knee sleeves. 
with that being said, who would I recommend these to as a daily um, wearer for your, your athlete? Um, I would say somebody who uh, doesn't have as large of calves or quads, these are a very solid option in my opinion. Um, if you can get the size that you're looking for, like I said, this is a 5X. Um, when I checked on the website when they were released, I was able to purchase a 5X and right after my purchase, I just went back to the listing again already sold out so I'm assuming that either one to three of these pairs are out on the market right now and I technically according to the size chart needed a 6x so these are extremely tight again take that for what it is in comparison to my pair of Einzers which are a 3x um, that fit a little bit on the loose end according to the scale um, to the um, measuring scale as well as these being a 5x which actually technically is at the tight end of the measuring tape now what are my thoughts on do you actually need these knee sleeves so personally for me these were 150 dollars these were 110 dollars price wise i would obviously go with the iron rebels they're cheaper um, i really wouldn't hesitate spending a hundred dollars on knee sleeves i 100 percent hesitated on buying these I bought them directly from Einzer I was hesitant buying them from Einzer being some of the things that I've heard and I almost paid 180 from for them on Amazon and I was kind of like I'm not really in a rush to buy them so I bought them from Einzer the two and a half week lead time that was annoying but I got them I would personally pick the Iron Rebels over the Einzer Ergo Pros would I recommend these knee sleeves to you guys as athletes now for me as 800 pound squatter I would consider that at a pretty elite level um, for, for squats specifically. I think if you're at that level of dotting over 500 pounds or 500 points, if you have a very elite level squat, I think you could benefit from these. Um, is it gonna give you that extra inch in a competition? I do believe that that is something that could possibly happen for you. Everybody's different, everybody's bodies are unique, different, whatever you wanna say. Um, but at the end of the day, if you are an elite level squatter, I do say that these could potentially benefit you in your next competition. Now, not to put down any other athlete who's not an elite level athlete, I want you to also take this for what it's worth. Do I think that you should invest in a hundred plus dollar knee sleeves? Absolutely not. I don't think you should buy these Heinzers. I really also don't think you should buy the Iron Rebels. Obviously, a bunch of athletes are going to market them to you, try and promote, hey, oh yes, this knee sleeve is so stiff, it'll put 30 plus pounds on your PR or for squat. I am gonna go ahead and be completely upfront and honest. I really don't think so. Um, I think if you took that money and invested it in an actual coach, fixed your squat, there's a lot of things, even for me being an 800 plus pound squatter, there's a lot of things that I could still work on, which is why I'm saying for people who aren't at such an elite level, there's way more things that a lot of athletes who squat could work on initially. So with that being said, do I recommend this to the everyday gym goer? Absolutely not. It's not worth the money. It's not worth the effort putting them on. And quite honestly, I don't think most athletes in the powerlifting community or in the strength community in general will actually get a benefit from these knee sleeves just because it's too expensive. I think there's so many other things that you can fix in your squat versus just buying a very expensive pair of knee sleeves. And also on that note, to kind of contribute more to that point, I'm gonna go ahead and post squatting on the Iron Rebels. I'm gonna grab my pair of Iron Rebel knee sleeves that I wore for my last meet in August um, for my 850 pound squat. These are the exact pair of Iron Rebel knee sleeves that I wore at my last competition here in August 2020. Two, <laughs> and these are the Iron Rebel, I believe they're either the performance knee sleeves, um, the second version of them. These are in a size 4X. And just to show you why I believe there's so many more things that you can do to invest in your squat versus just buying an expensive pair of knee sleeves.
And that right there is exactly how I put them on. I really hope that you guys um, take some of the things that I said into consideration. And those are just some of my thoughts. I don't think that most athletes, I would say 90% of the powerlifting community, I really don't think that you need to go out and spend a hundred plus dollars on a pair of knee sleeves. I really would say put your money in your coaching, in your programming. Um, you're probably not gonna get more than a month out of a coach for a hundred dollars. I understand that. And if you are, you probably need a new coach, uh, <laughs> in my honest opinion. But with that really being said, I really think that there's a lot of foundational things in most people's squats that they could actually work on, whether it's complete tension in everything from the rooting of the foot, the ankle mobility, and really keeping that tense coming down into the hole and ascending out of the hole, um, you know, utilizing your glutes, quads, and hamstrings more, and effectively using your back coming out of the hole, um, as well as how you drive your wrists, cues like that. Um, there's a lot of big things that you can focus on, even myself included, that I can focus on uh, squatting that would benefit me more than just spending $100 plus dollars on knee sleeves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as you guys could probably tell, this is my first video on YouTube. So if you liked this content, if you have any feedback for me to improve in the future, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Drop um, feedback down below. Hit me up on Instagram if you guys have any content ideas. And on that note, I will catch you guys next time.